Hello and welcome to Color Up. Today we're going to take a look at a regression strategy. Now a lot of people would consider that type of strategy as conservative. In my opinion, I don't know, it really just depends. If you can make that first hit before you regress down, sure, it's conservative after that, but you know, you're putting more money up front instead of starting small and building up. So let's take a look. So today's video is part of my Dice Advice series, and this strategy was submitted by Derek Eisler, Isler, sorry, uh, and he calls it the 6-8 regression. Let's take a look at it. Now he plays on a $10 table, so what he starts with is a $24 bet on both the 6 and the 8, so $48 of total outlay. This is why I question whether a regression strategy is considered conservative. For me, putting out $50 on the first roll and if the seven rolls before you hit a number, you lose it all, to me, that's not very conservative. But as long as you hit one of the numbers, the six or the eight, you recoup your money back, that is a great point about regression strategies. So again, Derek's starting with a $24 bet on each. He's hoping to hit one. Let's say we hit the eight. He does have them working on the come out. So the eight hits, we're gonna win $28. We're gonna ask the dealer to bring us down to the table minimums or $12 each. So he'll hand off one stack and now we've got $12 on each. So with just one hit on either number, we've recouped our money and we have a $4 total profit. So no matter what happens after this point, we're walking away with at least $4. Now, is it smart to risk $48 to win $4? I don't know, it just depends if, again, if you hit that six and eight. So we're in the clear, we have a $4 profit, we still have $12 working on both the six and the eight. At this point, he says, get to 30 as fast as you can. So with each hit, we're gonna do a full press, press the winnings up as much as we can, and we're gonna get to $30 um, on both the six and eight as quick as we can. After that point, he says, it's really up to you. Do you want to press and collect? Do you wanna spread out on, onto other numbers? we'll leave that up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this out, see if I can hit some six and eights, build this, build these bets up, and then I will probably, maybe I'll spread out to the five and nine, and then after that maybe collect or something. So we'll see if I can hit some six and eights in the first part and, uh, and even get to that point. So let's check it out. All right, Derek suggests a $480 bankroll for a $10 table, and let's see what happens. So let's go ahead. He has the bets working on the come out. So we'll toss the dealer 50 bucks and ask him to do set up our six and eight. So we'll go six and eight, 24 each, and $2 change to the player. We're set up, ready to go. Here we go, coming out. And it's going to be three, three craps. We're all on the pass line, so we don't care. And the point's gonna be nine, nine's the point. So here we go, we need to hit, the, see that six or an eight. And six, six hard, there we go. 24, it's gonna pay $28. We'll go ahead and hand off the rest because we're gonna ask the dealer to break us down to $12 each or make our bets look like 12 each. So we've recouped our money and actually have achieved a $4 profit. And now these are still working for us. So at this point, we obviously want to hit some six and eights, but it's okay. We've got our, we've got our win for the shooter. Three, three craps. And the four, four there. And another four. Yo, 11. And hard four, shooting some fours in the house. And seven, seven out. Again, that is a bummer, but we collected our $4 and we had some money working for us. So you can't ask for too much more than that. All right, let's get our 50 down to our dealer again. Get set up. Twenty four each to change back to the player. And we've got a new shooter coming out. Here we go. And five, five is the point. All right, shooter, let's see that six or eight. 
And up against the wall, we've got a nine. Center field nine. And five, so we hit our point. Puck's gonna come off. These bets are typically off. He says to work the bets, so we're gonna go ahead and work them. Ask the dealer to have them working, and he'll mark it, and here we go. Up against the wall again, we got a three, three craps. So we're still looking for our point. And three, three craps. Repeating numbers today. I just need to be repeating the uh, six and eights. So we got a nine, nine's the point. So we'll go ahead and mark that. And looking for that six and eight, here we go. And there's that six, nice. Let me grab some more chips here. Again, it's gonna win 28. We're gonna ask the dealer to make them look like $12 each. So you can hand that off and $12 each. Again, we can just rack that up. Maybe we'll clean this up a little bit. We've got our $4 profit and looking for more. And we got a four, four hard. Again, this is working out great so far. The problem is when you don't hit that six and eight and you lose 50 bucks, well, 48 right at the beginning. Nine, so that's our point. Puck's gonna go off. Again, we wanna be working. So let's go ahead and get our bets working. And yo 11, still looking for a point. And there's the five, five's the point. You don't need this because this lets you know the place bets are on. Still looking for that six and eight. And there's the four. And seven, seven out. Again, not getting anywhere, but we're not losing. Oh, we need to get our bets down. So 50 to the dealer, two change back. Let's get you set up for 24 each. We're set up, ready to go. And coming out, here we go. Three, three craps. Seems like every roll I open with a three. Okay, we got an eight. Eight's the point. Now I forgot to mark it, but we're playing our, we're playing our, pay, our um, place bets are always working. So again, we're gonna win $28. Tell him to make it look like 12. He'll hand off a stack. Make it look like 12 each. We've secured our $4 profit for the shooter. Now let's see if we can get somewhere. Come on, six or eight. And there's an eight right back. 12 is gonna pay 18. We're gonna tell the dealer to make it look like 18 each. So you'll get $6 and he'll just bump these up. We're gonna do a full press. We hit our point, so that puck's going to come off. Again, we're working on the come out. Go ahead and just rack this $6. Same shooter coming out. Here we go. And we got a five. Five's the new point. Let's see a six or eight. And five. We hit our point. Puck's off. Again, we're working. And right back on that five. Mark the five. Come on, shooter. And there's a six, there we go. All right, let me grab some more chips over here. So our, what do we roll, the six? $18 is gonna pay 21. We're gonna drop the uh, dealer a dollar and tell him to make our bets go to 24. So he'll take this, you're gonna get $10, and we're gonna get up to $24. Rack that $9. And all right, let's see, a six or eight. There's an eight, nice. 24 is gonna pay 28. And we're gonna take the six and eight up to $30 each. Now I don't know the shortcut, so if there are any dealers out here who can tell me how to 
get from 24 each to 30 each in a few moves. I just don't know how to do it. So um, I do know, let's see, 30 here. And we've got 25, 30 here. And this is the change to the player. So what do we got? 16 dollars 16 to the player again there's i know there's got to be a short way to do that shorthand way to do that so if you're a dealer it would be great let me know we can clean this bet up a little bit obviously i am not a dealer so i do not know the good news is we've achieved our first goal we've uh, got up to 30 dollars each so at this point Derek leaves it up to you. For me, I'm going to hit this and I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to put, you know, whatever, whatever I win, I'm going to um, play the, add the five and nine for $10, collect the rest, and then maybe collect and press or we'll see. I'll just make it up as we go along here. The key is we got to see that six or eight first and we got a five. So we've hit our point. So The puck's going to come off. He likes to work on the come out. So we're going to get him working. And yo 11. And we've got a five. Point's going to be five again. Here we go. And seven. Seven out. Bummer. That's okay. We made some money. We got up to 30. All right. Let's give it another shot. So we're going to have a new shooter. Let's go ahead and get 50 to the dealer. You're going to get change of two, and he's going to set you up for 24 each. We're going to be working. And new come out. Here we go, shooter. Looking for a come out. And we've got a six. I guess that's why he likes to work the come out. 24. It's going to pay 28. We're going to ask the dealer to make them look like 12 each. So we'll go ahead and collect that. We'll go down to 12 each. Go ahead and rack this up here. So we've got our $4 profit for this shooter again. So far it's working out for us. 12 and we're ready to go. Here we go. And an eight, great. 12 is going to pay 14. So we're going to collect two, go ahead and bump these up to 18 each. And I just realized, I think earlier I paid out $18 instead of $14. So hopefully during editing, I'll note that. But uh, yeah, the $12 pays $14 on the six and eight. Let's go ahead and rack that up. Let's see some more numbers. Here we go. And five. And three. And there's a four, four hard. I always think it's funny I make a mistake and I get uh, so many comments like people point out, which I do appreciate, especially if I miss and don't make a note of it. All right, we hit our eight again. 18 is going to pay 21. So again, let's drop the dealer $1. And let's go ahead and bump these guys up to $24. So we'll collect $9. Clean these up just a tad. So now we got $24 bets working for us. Here we go. And three, three craps. Yeah, as long as you can make that first hit after that, you know, it's all just kind of a bonus. You're 11. You've got nothing to worry about. Up against the wall, we've got an eight, nice. Again, 24 is going to be 28. And we've got 30 here. 30 here. This is your change. Or your winnings. Ah. Ah. 
Now we're right where we want to be, 30 each. And come on, let's see some a six or an eight. Oh, same as exact last time. Just build it up and then we got that seven. All right, seven out. It's okay, we made a little money on that shooter. All right. Let's get down for our new shooter. $2 change. Set our player up at 24 each. We're going to be working on the come out. Here we go. And it's going to be 10. 10's the point. And seven, seven out. So in this case, it doesn't pay as we lose all $48. So puck's off. Again, give the dealer 50, change of two. Get set up for 24 each. Don't have quite enough ones, so I'm gonna buy some from the player because I, I don't have any more chips. So let's see what we got here. Five, 10. Oh, geez, I'm making a mess of this. 15, 20, 25. There's your 25 for the player. go. I'm going to work the come out. New shooter. Here we go. Coming out. And it's going to be an eight. So we hit our number. That's what we're looking for. 24 is going to pay 28. We're going to ask the dealer to make it look like 12 each. We've secured our profit. And we're looking to hit some more numbers. Here we go. And not gonna happen. Seven out, quick seven out. But as long as we hit that six and eight first, no harm. All right, let's give it another try. Maybe we'll give it two more tries. $2 and change. Set up for 24 each. Gonna have them working. Not no, <laughs> on, there we go. Here we go, coming out. And two, two craps. And there's a five, point's gonna be five. And hit our five again. We're gonna leave our bets working. And eight, eight hard. So 24 is gonna win 28. We're gonna make it look like 12. So we'll bring this down. Secured our profit for the shooter. Here we go, let's see some more numbers. And two, two craps. And there's a 10, 10 on the end. 12, midnight. And seven, seven out. Puck's gonna come off. Let's go ahead and go 10, 20, 25. Wait, did I do 25? Yeah, we'll do it like this. That doesn't matter. We'll just keep doing it this way. Give the dealer 50, two and change. Let's 
set us up for 24 each. Let's get this working. This is a new shooter. This is going to be our last roll, so we'll see what happens here. And seven. Seven on the come out. These guys are working. And that's how it goes sometimes. So anyway, thanks again, Derek Eisler, for submitting his 6-8 regression. There's so many different ways to do it. That's just the way he likes to do it. So you should see the numbers down the end, how we did. Um, for the most hard part, I usually got by and hit, made that first hit. But there's obviously twice that I hit it. So I'm not sure by looking at the bankroll where I'm at. So go ahead in the comments if you like to play the regression. If you don't, um, that's fine. If you do like it, let me know kind of your variations or the way you like to do it. it. It's kind of an interesting way to play it. But is it a conservative? In my book, probably not. Conservative to me is you're starting on table minimum bets and kind of some way building up from that. So this is maybe a moderate um, strategy, I would say, any type of regression strategy. So as long as you make that first hit, you're fine. So that's what is nice about it. One hit and you're in the clear. So anyway, again, I appreciate it. Thanks again. If you'd like to submit a strategy, you can do it at the website. The list is huge. So um, I think Derek submitted this back in January. So approximately eight months ago, something like that. So that kind of lets you know how far I am behind. I appreciate though everyone sending them in. It is cool to look through them. I don't do them in exact order, but um, if something catches my eye, maybe it'll kind of jump the list. But again, appreciate everyone watching. Thanks again. And, at, and whenever you head out to the tables, good luck on coloring up.